Monday. It's the 27th of April, and time now to visit with our good friend Kathy Erickson. If pets could talk, <laughs> they're liars. That's all I got to say, right? <laughs> in the first and foremost. No, if they could talk, that'd be great. That'd solve a lot of problems, wouldn't it? it well, it would certainly help us at the vet, wouldn't it? No question yeah. about that. But we're here to give you some uh, some tips, some advice, some things mm -hmm. that you learn about pets. Yep. Well, today we have all kinds of things to talk right. about, so we'll, we'll get going. First thing I want to talk about is the Fence Project Des Moines. This is an organization that started back in April 2012, and what this wonderful volunteer group does, much like groups all over the country, you'll see this in many cities, is they find dogs in the community that are either chained or in a very restrictive kennel situation, you know, sort of uh, cobbled together, and they go out, they get donations, they pull together a team, and they do a build. And Saturday, Saturday morning, this Saturday morning is build number 55 for this group. I've never heard of this. Right. They do, well, they only work in the summer from the time the ground thaws, so that's why they're just starting yeah. now, to the, and then they stop in the fall. But the, the neat thing that they do in the winter, the beginning of the winter, is all the dogs that they've done builds for, they take straw to all the dog houses and make sure those dogs are all, you know, they do a lot of follow-up, make sure those dogs are nice and comfy. What a great idea. They are. They, um, that you can find them on Facebook, facebook.com slash fenceprojectdm. Okay. Or reach out to them at fenceprojectdesmoines at gmail.com. I'm writing this one down. Yeah. Well, like so I said, it's... So people actually respond favorably. As you oh. say, is this in prevention of puppy mills or is this nope. is more residential? This is more res residential and I would say this is a little bit in response to um, people just not knowing. Maybe, maybe they were raised with a dog on a chain, but this group is anti-chain, anti-confinement, you know, confinement. and so what they do is they, they get fence, they get everything donated. Uh, and they go and they put up the fencing, they put in the post, they put in all the wire, they, they make it so the dog can't get out, they bring a dog house. Sometimes they bring um, Teddy's Rough Riders comes and does a, a grooming, and then they make sure the dog has t tick and flea prevention, and oh they God, just take, they, they just upgrade that dog's life. And uh, what, what's the response from the owners? Are they grateful? Oh, of course, or, yeah. There and they, they're usually out there helping. Good. Um, you know, it's just a scenario where they, they maybe just didn't know any better. Mm -hmm. And they didn't, they didn't realize that the dog to have a more happy, healthy life would be would be better off in this. And they might not have the resources to get it done. I think maybe the money didn't have the right. money for yeah, it. Yeah, fences are pricey. Yeah, they are. Uh, but this group comes in, I'll tell you what, they start at 10 a.m. And I did this last summer just to, just to experience. It was so much fun. Um, adults, children come in, clean up the yard first, uh, then come in and do all the post setting, put up the fence, a lot of zip ties, and I'll tell you what, I am not uh, the queen of fence construction, okay? And I was zip tying with the best of them, helping putting the gate in, helping getting the, the fence uh, uh, tucked into the ground so the dog couldn't dig out. Right. And, but the best part of the whole thing is when the dog gets released. Oh, it's so cool. You know, because the dog, in most cases, has been on a chain right. for most oh, of its let life. Let us know when the next next one is, is going to happen. It's this Saturday at 10 a.m. Okay. If you go to the Facebook page, they have the information. And what they do is they say, we're going to be in this area. So I know at this point it's going to be in the East Grand area. Okay. And then as it gets a little closer, they'll release the address. Um, they'd like you to say you're, you're coming. They could always use, you know, 20 to 30 people. And they usually get it. Yeah, it takes about this. three hours. There's a few photos, sure. Oh, so what, what a great idea. So, you know, it's nice to have some uh, nice, strong men there to do put those posts in. That is not an easy uh, easy task. Because you have to hammer uh, them down, They too. did not put me on that. Um, yeah. they, <laughs> they usually have the dog houses ready ahead of time. <laughs> with a mat. And, and this dog right here, I think we have, uh, I think that was um, Snowflake. And Snowflake was in a particularly small, tiny, restricted oh, area with awesome. no room to run. And you can see in... Uh, in uh, a lot of cases, when the when the chain has created a scenario where there's nothing but dirt, yeah. they bring in straw, so the dog has a nice. There, that's where Snowflake was. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So you can see what this kind of group does. Oh, that's what a the, great what a uh -huh. great organization. And what are they called again? It's called the Fence Project Des Moines. Hmm. Des Moines. Oh, wonderful, we're wonderful them out. group. Okay. All um, you know, nonprofit, all volunteer, wonderful, wonderful great organization. People. And you know, it, everything from a little weed whacking there to, like I said, zip tying. If you can zip tie, you can help this group out. Nice. And I'll Excellent. tell you what. I learned that I'm a good zip tie. That's the way to dig a hole, by the way. It, it, it is, powered, but they don't always honored. have that. Yeah. They don't always have that. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about, there's a recall that popped up just late last night, oh. and it's for the Nyla Bone Puppy Starter Kit. And Nyla Bone is everywhere. They're in the grocery stores. They're, you know, they're at PetSmart. They're, they're just everywhere, and they're online. 
No dogs have turned up ill, but there's a possibility of salmonella. Mm -hmm. And this is an easy thing to buy. It's just $1.69. If you've got the Nylabone puppy starter kit, take a look at it. Um, check the, check the uh, Great Iowa Pet Expo Facebook page, because we'll have all the information up okay, there. Check the numbers. Yep. And um, check the numbers. Take it back. You know, throw it away or take it back, but mm -hmm. don't use it. Okay. okay. Um, they just know when they're testing that there's a possibility of salmonella, and it's just safe. such a popular brand. We don't want to. Right. We don't want to have any of that. The next, John Katz, Saving Simon. Mm -hmm. If you're aware of the avid author series in town that the Des Moines Library yes. does, right. um, they bring in wonderful, wonderful authors, and they are bringing in next Monday John Katz. He's going to be at the Sheslow Auditorium over at Drake. He has a slew of wonderful books about dogs and animals, but this particular book is about the about ra about saving Simon. Simon was a rescue donkey that was just near death. And they, they came to him for his farm, asked him if he would take in this donkey. He's got a little farm upstate New York, and he took in this little donkey. And the book is about, as he says, ways that animals make us wiser and kinder people, his relationship hmm. with the donkey. And he's a wonderful storyteller. So I wanted to let the, the pet community so know next that Monday. next Monday, okay. John Katz is coming in. Got it. As if that wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. just chock full today. I am today. I'm full of something, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Okay. You said it on me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to beat you to it. Or Jason. <laughs> um, okay. That The puppy mill bill is yes. still live yes. in the Senate. Okay. It is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's still kicking. It's, it's Senate file 347, and our good friend Mary LaHaye, Correct. who's been she on the show, not, right, not a couple times, yeah. right, talking about it, uh, I saw that she was doing an, another outreach saying, hey, this is still live, call your state legislators and please ask them to support the bill. If you don't know who your state legislators are, you just go straight to the um, Iowa legislation website. It'll tell you by county. It'll tell you every which way to Sunday how to get a hold of them. Um, and if you need more information on that, go to iowavca.org. That's Mary's website. Right. And there'll be talking points. There'll be more about the bill, the bill itself. Uh, but she'll help you craft an email to get out to, you know, if you want your legislator to I think they have that. some already done, too. They I think they do. Cut and paste. They do. Um, but, but it, um, you know, j just that outreach, knowing, letting your senators know that it's important to you is really important. I think this is farthest this bill has it gotten is. in the last year or two. So. You're going to push it a little extra. You really do. You really do. And for people who like to plan, we have some upcoming events. We have our buddy Amy Hines. Yes. We have the Putts for Mutts, May 9th, Terrace Hills Golf Course. Um, our Weimariner friends have a wonderful uh, canine 5K, Raccoon River Park, on June 6th. And over in Panora, they've got a fun event called um, uh, Little Furball. That's this Saturday. That's, that is this Saturday. So they're over, uh, they're over at Lake Panorama, but still, you know, there's, our pet lovers are everywhere. There I want to make sure we uh, get the whole community handled and lots of fun things to do. Great yeah. job. Oh, now you great. have a couple of places that uh, people can get more information about what you're doing. For example, the Great Iowa Pet Expo is? Right. The, that's, uh, you can go to our Facebook page. We're, we're constantly updating that. That's uh, Great Iowa Pet Expo, or Facebook.com, Great Iowa Pet Expo, and then Muzzle Bump. There's a little Muzzle more Bump detail, right MuzzleBump.com. Little Sammy there, uh, and we like to keep everybody updated and keep the communication flowing. I so. like this segment. This is cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You have all kinds of great stuff for us pet owners. Thank I love you. This. You're well. certainly uh, better prepared than we are today. <laughs> <laughs> like that was very professional so today. The, the Fence Project Des Moines is what we need to need to look up. DM. DM. Oh, yeah. just DM. Okay. Face, Facebook.com. Okay. Fence Got Project it. DM. The help, the help coming up this Saturday. First Saturday. You know, it's going to be a great day, and what a what a great way to bring your kids along and show them the importance of giving. And do some good. Yep, do, or, or you know what, if you don't have time, go to the website, check the, check the, go to the Facebook page, check the address on Friday, bring them some coffee and donuts. There you go. Wouldn't that be wonderful yeah, for yeah, those volunteers? Too. So yeah, they, they deserve it. Great idea. They work hard. Well done. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back at 732. This is Great Day Live in Des Moines.